Sophia. Yes? What do we do now? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something useful hidden among these ruins. Do you think the Nazis have been here? I don't know, but we should be careful. Something tells me they're not far away. Should we split up? And take a chance you'll get hopelessly lost? Not on your life, Buster. Let's look around. Okay. It's a surveyor's transit, useful for measuring angles and laying out straight lines. It's a pile of rubble. Hmm, the stones look loose. There's a statue here. I see Sophia. I see the right horn. I see the right horn. I see the left horn. It's a pile of rubble. Hmm, the stones look loose. There's a statue here. I see the left horn. I see the right horn. Hello, what's this? This is where the survey lines triangulated. There's a stone disc down here. It's got a hole in the middle and little moons carved into the surface. It must be one of the moonstones Plato wrote about. I see nothing. Sophia. Yes? Here we are in the ruins of Gnosis. Hang on a minute. Nurab Sal speaks! He tells me that in his travels he has walked this ground and bids us find the underworld passage to his ancestral home. How do you do it? Radio? Signals from the fillings in your teeth? Still the wise guy. You'll learn. What do we do now? I'm not sure, but I suspect we've already found what we need.
What do you know? A secret door. So, the legend of a labyrinth hidden under the ruins of Gnosis is true. The legend of Atlantis isn't any more far-fetched. Maybe it's true, too. I think the last stone disc and Atlantis are waiting for us somewhere beyond that door. I can't pick that up. Stay away from the door. It's a bust of Apollo. It's a bust of Ares. It's a bust of Zeus. It's the original Minotaur. They used to wonder why the Minoans were so obsessed with bullheaded figures. <laughs> Come to think of it, I still wonder. It looks a bit wobbly. Get behind me, Sophia! Sophia, get over here! Oh! What's going on, Indy? It must be a primitive elevator of some sort. I always thought Mr. Otis invented the elevator. Yeah, well, this is our floor. Oh wait, that was our ride! It's our old friend, Professor Sternhardt. Looks like he's starved to death. How awful! I guess he knew a lot more than he let on. But not quite enough, apparently. Yeah, we'll starve too if we don't find a way out of here. It says... I am convinced the map room lies beyond the next chamber. Alas, I cannot get past the gate. I need that autocalcum detector. Too bad for Sternhardt. He came a long way. the world stone that Sternhardt swiped into Cal. It appears the elevator crushed at least one stone disc. How nice. Wait, there's a chain running up behind the waterfall. It must be holding the elevator's counterweight. Hold on, Jones. Where do you think you're going? I'm climbing this chain. You'd better come back. Trust me. getting wet. Bad I can't reach it. It's pointing at that gold box. It's a wedge that keeps the counterweight from sinking. There, the counterweight is free. It's a shaft plunging into the darkness.
Going up. There are two more beads underneath it. I'll take them too. The oracalcum is now in the box. Why, it's pointing at me! It's not pointing anywhere. There must not be any oracalcum nearby. I don't think that'll work. Here I go again. And there it goes again. Listen. Yes? I forget, do stalagmites go up or down? Hmm. Up, I think. Do you think we're lost? Who knows, I'm too lost to think. Some date, huh? We're not dating, Jones. This is not a date. If it was a date, I would have stood you up. What do we do now? Let's keep looking for a way out of here. Follow me. Lead the way. It doesn't seem to open. It operates the gate. I can't reach it. It's a narrow crawl space. It's too high to reach. Uh, Sophia. Yes? You look great in this light. What's that supposed to mean? It's almost pitch dark. Oh, yeah. Listen. Yes? Let me boost you through that hole. I'm not climbing through there. I'll bet it's full of spiders, or rats, or snakes. You probably wouldn't fit anyway. Was that a crack about my weight? I just meant it's an awfully narrow passage. Are you saying I won't fit? After a few days without food, we'll both fit. <sighs> We're really not going anywhere until I crawl through there, are we? Afraid not. Okay, boost me up. And watch those hands, Buster. There's a pulley on this side. We'll use it. Okay, hang on. Happy? We're not out of the woods yet, but nice going. It's pointing at Sophia's necklace. Listen. Yes? Can I borrow that necklace of yours for a while? Why? I think it's throwing off the oracalcum detector. So? So, we need to hide it. You think so? Then say, Nurab Sal is a mighty king and his eyes see through. Nurab Sal is a mighty king and his eyes see through. All right. I can't give you my necklace. But tell me your plan and I'll try to help. I want to put it in this gold box. Okay. Give me the box and I'll put it inside. Just for a few minutes. Thanks. It's not pointing anywhere. It's 
It's not pointing anywhere. It's not pointing anywhere. Pointing toward that blank wall in the back. It seems to be crumbling a bit. Look! Look, an orichalcum bead. This must have been the bead that attracted the orichalcum detector. Great. Now take the gold box. I want to wear my necklace again. Either Atlantis is a lot smaller than we thought, or we've found some kind of map or scale model. Laid out just as Plato described it in three concentric circles. Sophia, where are you? We've got her, you foolish Americana! Let's make a deal. Sophia for the stone discs. You're in no position to bargain, Doctor. Hand over the stones or you'll never see Miss Hapwood again. Okay, take the stones. Just don't hurt Sophia. She'll be perfectly safe. In my custody. Kerner! What a slimy toad. Uh-oh. Kerner wedged it shut from the other side. It doesn't seem to open. These rocks look slightly loose. You know, I think one of the rocks is starting to move. Roland, halt! You must board the U-boat. I'm not going anywhere. What have you done with Indy, you creep? Forget about Jones. How can you expect a man to lead you to Atlantis when he can't even find a way out of the labyrinth? And you're practically an Atlantis tour guide, I suppose? We have charted an underwater entrance to the lost city. Together, we will discover it secret. Good luck. You have a choice, Fraulein. Join us and fulfill your life's ambition. Or join your friend, another rotting corpse on the road to glory. Well, how can I refuse hospitality like that? Chong's was a better man than I thought. He would tolerate her. Oof, er, hey, there's a Nazi U-boat. Stowaways. I'm not a stowaway, I'm a runaway. We'll see about that. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Look at 
Looks like I'm captain now. Whoa, we're getting underway. Let's hope we're headed for Atlantis. It says Flugeldoofel. There are mean-looking sailors down there. Now hear this. All hands to the stern torpedo bay. Indy! Jones, where? Sorry. Must have been my imagination. Ah. I'll bet it's hard as a rock. They've just about got themselves a delicatessen here. I'll take a couple of slices. Don't mind if I do. It's a porcelain beer stein. What is this stuff? Pumpernickel? I've got slices of bratwurst, bologna, and salami. It's labeled Ausgeschnitzel. That doesn't quite work. It's the speed control. This is the switch that reverses the sub's engines. Yeeps! That was close. One of the batteries is leaking. That stuff looks pretty corrosive. Okay, the mug is full of acid. Sophia? Indy? George can't save you now, madam. Oh, uh, wait. I'm getting a message. A message from Nurab Sal. Nurab what? An old friend from Atlantis. His spirit is calling me. Where are the stone discs? Uh, Nurab Sal refuses to share his secrets until he is released. Can you get rid of the guard? Alas, Nurab Sal is weak and far away. Tell Nurab Sal that I've got a plan. Nurab Sal is listening. Just distract the guard for a while, okay? Nurab Sal understands all. Wait, what? Oh, darn. I've lost contact. Too bad. Excuse me, Mr. Guard Person? What is it now? I was just wondering. Yes? Oh, it's probably nothing. I order you to finish your sentence. Well, you know, you look just like William the Conqueror. You think so? The resemblance is uncanny. I always suspected that I had royal blood in my veins. Perhaps I should tell your fortune. Would you? Certainly. Here goes. Who are you? 
Talk fast and I better like your tone of voice or you're a dead man. Did Madame foretell that your future looks pale? No, now that you mention it. Indy! Nice work. Any idea where Kerner put the stones? We're out of luck. He's got them in his quarters. We'll see about that. Do you know how to run this boat? Are you kidding, Jones? I'm a spiritualist, not a navigator. Well, what do we do now? Let's get those stones out of Kerner's quarters and locate the underwater entrance to Atlantis Kerner claims is near here. It's a padlocked wheel of some sort. It's a plumber's helper. Who knows, it might come in handy. Aren't you coming? I'll just stay here and make sure Sleeping Beauty doesn't wake up. Try to relax, Herr Doctor. Relax? We are approaching a civilization that played with the forces of nature the way we play with toys! Come now, don't exaggerate. How else do you explain the wonders of Archicalcum or the stone discs? Hmm, what have you done with the stone? Calm down, they're right behind you in the Captain's strong box. Oh, there was I! The acid's eating right through the metal. Here are the stone discs. There's a small key in here, too. Now it's unlocked. It's a way to steer the sub. Wonderful, it snapped right off. It fits! Amazing! We're hundreds of feet below sea level, yet there's enough air pressure to keep the water out. How's it possible? Welcome to Atlantis, Indy. 